Do you look to channelers for information, for guidance, for teachings? We're going to talk about channelers today because I have something to share with you that it's time for all of us to recognize and this could be a huge epiphany for you. I'm getting a lot of people asking me about this and I want to address this head on. Let's talk about the channelers. Welcome to Landria Anka on YouTube, here to help you break through those fears and live an amazing life. Early in the morning here in Georgia. Okay, we're going to talk about channelers today. Uh, first of all, what is a channeler? Somebody who's bringing in another energy source that speaks through them. They may be conscious of this or unconscious of it. They may actually push their personality away and not be aware of what's being said. Either way, what I'm about to tell you still applies. Channelers are tapping into the collective um, one of which everything is. Your higher self is not separate from you, nor is anything that they are tapping into. Everything's in that field of one. Every idea, inspiration, and, you know, invention, song, poem, you know, ideas about business, you name it, is all in that field, the quantum field. All of it. Not separate from you. You are part of it. Because you're a human body, we have a tough time imagining that we are part of that one energy. So don't even try to comprehend it, but I'm going to tell you about channelers, and I've talked about spiritual teachers and, you know, all these things that are getting eyeballs and views out there on YouTube and other social channels, social media platforms. Everything that you obtain from the collective, from that unseen field, those ideas or whatever it is, all depends on frequencies. You could get tons of information from there. And if you're on a lower frequency, it may not be good stuff because there are energy fields out there that are going to willing to drop things. They're not individual, separate from you. But you're now plucking from the lower ranks of the collective. All right? So I actually, I never watch channelers, I'll tell you. And by the way, there's some good ones. I think we know who the good ones are. And well, I shouldn't say good or bad, but the positive ones, the ones with positive higher frequency messages. I, I tuned into one that's massively um, popular, a, a man. I want to make sure it's a man because I, I don't want you to think it's, uh, I know who you're thinking. It's a man. And um, why this person gets so many views, I don't know, because I've never heard him say anything of real substance that you don't know yourself. But I listened to him. I saw a title, and I was curious to see what he was going to say. I was on there for two minutes, and I had to get off. He was criticizing millennials, the youth. He was using names that were not very nice, uh, criticizing them and saying what they are as if they were just one whole thing. And I realized that he was coming from a very negative space and that he wielded power by criticizing them. That's separation. And I talked to you before about this. Just because he's channeling means diddly squat, all right? Because you can channel anything from the space of the quantum field, you know, and, and you could channel the most horrible, horrific things and manifest them. You have this ability. So here's why people go to channelers. Because they want some answers that they think they don't have themselves. You can channel but you don't want to channel from a low frequency. So you can go into, we actually do this in the Miracle Circle, we go into a high frequency, because whatever I do with my students focuses on the high frequency, not just manifesting or you know getting what you want, learning how to do that, I teach you all that, but I focus on manifesting from a high frequency because then everything from that place, 
miracles happen there, and everything is the best and highest for yourself and others. Because if you're manifesting all this other stuff or channeling stuff that's down here, the, the end result's not going to be a pleasant one. And we're, we're done with that, aren't we? I, want, I cannot emphasize this enough. If anything comes out of any spiritual teacher's or channeler's mouth that criticizes, I mean blatantly criticizes, another group or whatever or puts any kind of fear in you. I'm not talking about, you know, it's great to have opinions or, you know, talk about, you know, what's going on out there. But if you separate yourself from them and, and talk, when they talk to you as if you should, you know, fear them or they're the bad guys, what is that? It's the same thing that they're telling you to fear. We're done with that. I want you to know that you absolutely are always channeling. The reason why we don't think we are is because there's so much ego and mind chatter and fear going on that it blocks it. So if I have, you know, headphones on and it's going, bra bra bra, and I got rock and roll music, I can't hear the orchestra over in the corner that's always playing. In fact, I'm not even looking at that. And maybe I'll look, but I don't hear it. I'm like, why am I not getting messages? Because you've got other things in there. Blah, 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 blocking you. All right? Sorry, that's my dishwasher. <laughs> I have to get my dishes done. It's early. All right, so what do we want to do here? We want to start to focus on our own powers. This is, this is the era of enlightenment. Enlightenment isn't looking to other people. Spiritual teachers are here to guide you to empower yourself. And if they're not doing that and they're, they're telling you that they have answers and that you should always be going to them and, you know, get a million views on YouTube, there's another agenda there, right? There has to be. Because if it's negative, it, it, it's, it's another agenda. Not to be judged, but ask yourself if that's what you want to collaborate with. It's your choice. I want you to understand how much we're still under the spell of this guidance that somebody has an answer that you don't. In fact, you're constantly getting ideas and messages. Now I'm clear audience. I have all kinds of uh, clear this, clear that, clear whatever. In fact, I was at a pretty decent sized meeting when a channeler pointed me out, I was way in the back, made me come up front and said that they were saying that I have psychic abilities and that I have the ability to channel and this and that. And he asked me, he said, you know, do you get messages? And I said, yes. Yes, I get all the time. I, I do. I have the ability to channel. But I channel in a way that you can. And that is, I'm just listening. I get out of the way. I shut down any chatter. And I just get stuff. I get ideas and I know what videos to shoot and it comes, you know, and some days it's stronger than others. Uh, you know, if you're busy or whatever, you got a lot of things on your mind, you know, you're going to clutter that space where those ideas, those poems, those songs, everything comes in. And a lot of times we just think it's us thinking. Well, I'm going to tell you something what, most of the time, if you're not worried or you're fearful or whatever, and you get something just shows up, that is a download. I call it a download. And that's all channeling is. So, yeah, you can listen to these channelers. And if they're picking on anybody, you know, and saying the bad guys or this or the millennials, picking on millennials, what, what, they're all the same? You know, our youth is so important. And us as adults, you know, the older generations are very responsible for what's happened to this planet. And so we must collaborate with our youth. No matter what they're doing, we're responsible for how they see the world along with themselves, right? They, they have to take responsibility too, but we have to lead the way. And so that means that we have to open up our hearts and say, where is my focus? What am I listening to? And, and is anybody channeling something that isn't going to help me elevate my frequency. And there's some really great channelers. Abraham Hicks is one of them. Uh, Abraham Hicks, what, no matter what you think of Abraham Hicks, by the way, I haven't, I haven't seen an Abraham Hicks video in, I don't know, 10 years or something like that. But what, from what I know, um, it's always been very positive and changed people's lives. 
that's a positive thing and then you can use that but know that it's not just that channeler that that channeler is giving you this information so that you can start to make these decisions on your own because you're equally as powerful and beautiful I'm going to say this over and over again. If you're hearing anything negative or anything that separates us, you know, yes, people are doing some nasty stuff out there, but there's still equal light beings to us exploring the dark side. What are you exploring? So instead of focusing on them and what they're doing and blah, 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 what a waste of energy, right? Tap into that amazing energy and say, how can I be of service? What can I do to, to brighten this world? Who can I serve? Because what I give, I'm receiving. It doesn't come back later. It's happening right now. I'm giving. I'm receiving this. Because that's me. You know, the homeless person is me. The saint is me. The flower is me. You know what? This is not woo-woo stuff. That's the other thing Chandler said. Woo-woo and new age. And used all these labels. For what? We're individual, beautiful, expressive light beings. We are of the essence of pure love, expressing every possible facet of itself. It's an experience. That's it. And we can change that experience. This is a very dense planet. It's a very low frequency planet. There's a lot of lessons and teachings from that. It's part of why you came here, but we're also here to raise that frequency and pull out of it. We don't need it anymore, right? We know it. We get it. Pain. Ow. Doesn't feel good. <laughs> All right? Let's move on. By the way, I want to share something with you guys. If you go to Zen Powerhouse, my other channel, I'm going to give you little tips every time. You have the ability to heal yourself, and you can pull that light in and do all kinds of things. We do this in the Miracle Circle. If you want to come over, I teach you how to take control of your own thoughts. My teachings are 100% about your power and you using it and tapping into it, not relying on somebody else because you hold it. And when you get that, it's so amazing. You stop feeling guilty about anything you've ever done because you realize everybody does stuff and you got to let it go and learn from it. You have to see it differently. The powers you hold, you can heal yourself. You can transition out of any relationship or job or situation just through empowering yourself and getting those answers and knowing that you have to make a change. You can't be the same person here if you want to be here. And so I help you to transition to that. I help you to tap into your own power. Get away from all the things that, you know, draw you into relying on something that's going to dumb us down, right? We, we, we hold amazing power. And I, again, you know, you're going to other people or, you know, other things and foods and stuff that you think is going to fix everything. You've got it right here, right here, okay? So start to tap into that. Go to the teachers that empower you. You know, Abraham Hicks, I know she empowers people. Uh, I know there are other great channels out there. And the minute something negative comes out of their mouth about, you know, negative as far as, you know, other people's separation and stuff, run! Run, you know, and, and have a sense of humor. You guys are taking stuff way too serious right now. <laughs> you know, when you go to Awaken State, everything's funny. You know, I mean, everything's funny because you see how ridiculous we are in our behavior out there when we are perfect light beings capable of doing anything. It just seems ridiculous. But, you know, it's part of our exploration of, of what we can be. So when you're done with it, you can go into that state of total awakening and love. For now, start channeling yourself. Ask for answers. And it's not some voice that comes up. Clear audience is you just actually hear answers. You get ideas and you start to, you know, use them. All right? So come over and join the Miracle Circle if you want to uh, get 30 days of teachings and practices and then a live class with me where we create a Miracle Circle. We place our requests in there. And if you miss the live class, you get the recording. So you get to participate. It's just as powerful. I want to empower you. I want you to connect to that amazing light, high frequency. There's that dishwasher again calling me. All right, you're whole and perfect, strong and powerful, loving, harmonious, and happy. Blessings to you, my friend. Please subscribe. Share this wherever you want. Spread the good news that we are all amazing. And we can start using it right now. Namaste.